Hey guys, earlier today I got stuck in a mud hole at Holopaw because I didn't have enough wheel speed to clean the tires out in low range. And that got me thinking, I need to do the research and finally figure out how this trash control modes in this Jeep work. Um, the manual tells you one thing, the guys in the forum tell you another thing, and then you gotta test it out yourself and you realize that they're both kind of wrong. So um, feel free to comment below if I'm doing something wrong and you know something I don't know. But here's my understanding of the four wheel drive modes in this truck. This applies to the non-Gladiator Sahara fancy edition um, gladiator, gladiators, like this is a Sport S for instance, should be the same for the Sport and all the other ones that don't have all the fancy off-road plus modes. Okay, so in two wheel drive, you have two traction modes, um, two wheel high. You just have normal mode where you have no traction control on the dash, ignore my tire pressure light, that's not related to this. Um, and then you have the thing where you hold it for one second and you get traction control off. It'll let you spend some donuts. When you have this mode, it gets rid of the brake limited slip on the rear axle. Okay, so two wheel drive simple, there's just two modes. The manual would lead you to believe that you could hold this down for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, etc. cetera. Um, and it would do something, it doesn't do anything in two wheel high. So two wheel high just has two modes. Now if we go to four high, we do have three modes. So we have normal mode, which has traction control and brake limited slip differentials. You press this once, traction control off. That also gets rid of brake limited slip differentials, which is contradictory to what everyone says in the manual that you have, you always have brake LSD in this Jeep. That's not true. I just got stuck in a ditch all crossed up. When you're in this, when you're in this mode right here, it does not do anything to try to keep all four wheels spinning. It's basically two wheel drive. Um, and then if you hold down for five seconds, you get a chime and electronic stability control off. Um, you can do that in four wheel high. I don't know why you can do that in four wheel high and not four wheel low. Electronic stability is, controls the thing when the Jeep starts to slide around or gets about to flip, it uses the brakes to straighten it out to correct for understeering and oversteering. I wish I could turn that off in two wheel drive. However, when I'm in too high and I have this button pressed once, I can still do a pretty good drift on the pavement or do a donut, so it's okay. All right, now there's four wheel low. When you go to four wheel low, you gotta go neutral first. It automatically disables auto park and automatically turns off traction control. So this light's already on, this button doesn't do anything for you in four wheel low. However, you do have some options in four wheel low. So when you're in drive, um, you have the good, really good brake LSD. Basically it's using the brakes front and rear to give you some sort of locking differential action. And it's great. It makes this truck 10 times more capable uh, when you got one front tire, one back tire in the air. It's a great feature. However, when you're in sticky thick mud, it will limit the throttle to about 3500 RPMs in first gear and it won't let you clean your tires out if you're in drive. The trick is to go to manual mode. As soon as you get in manual mode, you have full power. Um, I wish I knew that earlier today. I probably wouldn't have got stuck twice today if I had known that. So manual mode lets you start off in either first, second, or third, and that gives you full power to the wheels to clean your tires out in a sticky situation and get you moving out of the mud. Um, that's something that's not in the manual and it 100% should be because that will get you unstuck. Uh, I did find that on a forum. Whoever figured that out, thank you. That's really good to know. Um, if anyone knows how to get this thing to go into uh, electronic sensibility control off and two-wheel drive, please let me know if there's a trick to do that. Other than I know you can pull the ABS fuse or something like that on most vehicles. You can totally disable it that way. Um, I was thinking about getting a tuner because I was so mad that I could not spin my tires as fast as I wanted to in four-wheel low, but then putting it in manual mode totally fixes that issue. You can think of the M here as really mud mode, not really manual mode, no. In four wheel low though, that is, that is, that's the mud mode, that gives you your power. It's also good in sugar sand. Um, but yeah, I really wish I could find a way to get this thing to hold down for five seconds and turn off the traction control permanently, like with most cars in two wheel drive, but this Jeep just doesn't do it. I've held this down for a minute before and eventually it puts it in some weird mode where it turns traction control back on and you can't turn it off again. Um, I've tried double taps, I've tried all kinds of stuff. Nothing seems to gear off the stability control in two wheel drive um, that I can find. So comment below if you know something I don't.